Hey guys, I was going to make a wicked video on why being a Magic Pro player sucks so much. Then I saw this tweet from the Mana Source. As of this moment, he is either on a plane to London or in London. Now I will begin this by saying the math simply does not work out. Wedge has not had a job, you know, a job, the thing that pays you every two weeks that like most Americans have, ever. There are many reasons he said that he cannot hold a job, one of them being IBS, and the other one being that he cannot sit in a place for a long time due to IBS and back pains. So it seems kind of ridiculous that he's on a plane trip a plane trip to a different country a transatlantic plane trip when he suffered back pains from being on a plane trip i i'm a, a loss for words now i'll just do some simple math for you someone does not have income and they receive donations Let's say they receive $80,000 of donations, Patreons, and I will be honest, YouTube doesn't pay very much, so we can slash out YouTube or Twitch or any of this stuff. Then how can a person afford a plane ticket, and I'm sure that he paid for his wife's plane ticket as well, as well a round trip plane ticket to London in the middle of the week. Now, that's pretty crazy. But what if I told you that there's an even more dangerous element to all of this? So yeah, it seems a little scummy, it seems a little scammy, but what if I told you that there is a interesting component that a lot of people are not realizing? Right now, Donald Trump visited Houston. Uh, he visited Houston on Monday. This video is being recorded on Tuesday. It probably will go up on Wednesday. And he was visiting Houston to support Ted Cruz. It is a very important time for elections. The man, Manasaurus, who complains about politics all the time, all the time, will not be here to vote. How epically hilarious is that? The man who criticizes Donald, criticizes all of this stuff, will not be here to vote or make a difference. He will be in London. So, my gosh, my gosh, like, this is the definition of a hypocrite. It's someone who yaps and yaps and yaps and never takes action. Now, I've lost focus a little bit because I wanted to go over the economics. So if someone's so income comes from donations, I don't think he can argue this. I don't think anyone can argue that his so income comes from donations because where else would his income come from? It doesn't come from a job. He's not inherently wealthy. He's not a duke of something. And he lives at home with his parents. So I'm guessing he didn't inherit a bunch of money. Where is he getting all this money to buy original magic artwork? Where is he getting all this money to buy sheets of foil Guilds of Ravnica rares and mythics, right? He recently purchased one and he was elated. Where is he getting all this money when he doesn't have a job? It's simple math. And no matter how much someone bullshits you on emotions and donations and oh, I'm such a nice guy. The math does not make sense. The math does not make sense. According to Weds, he has $150,000 or plus more. Or, or I guess according to Weds' sister, which he didn't refute, $150 of medical bills. The $80,000 that was donated is long gone. He said it has been spent. Yet yeah, he is living a lavish lifestyle based on, on what? Like you cannot, you can, you have to buy a plane ticket with money, with money, two round trip. And I'm positive knowing Wedge that he purchased his wife's plane tickets as well. 
you have to buy the Guild of Ravnica giant foil mythic and rare display with money. Like you have to pay money, cash money. Like where did this money come from if you don't have a job? And here we have a, he's anti-lenient corporate tax law. He's never worked for a corporation. Anti-tax cuts for the wealthy. Anti-national debt increase. Pro-student loan forgiveness. Pro-increased carbon tax on companies. Pro-priority on climate change. Pro-environmental protection agency. And pro-sustainable fishing laws. He is incredibly opinionated on politics, yet he will not be here to vote during one of the most important election cycles. So, okay. Okay, you know, I let's talk about Donald and why he won the election. He won the election, and many people will criticize me for saying this, but this is the truth. His supporters, no matter what you think about them, no matter if you think they're racist, you think they're biased, you think they're sexist, and maybe that's all true, but they will stand a reign for him for eight hours to vote. I was watching the American Horror Story, and it was about the election, and the guy cuts off his arm, and, and the, it's not real. The guy cuts off his arm so he can vote for Donald. This person... Anti-electoral college, pro-marriage for all, pro-equal rights, pro-priority on urban development, pro-education overhaul, pro-increased spending on veterans and active military members, social. Like all of this sounds amazing, but where the blank is the money coming from? Like in your reality where you don't, when people donate money to you and you don't have a job, all of this makes sense, right? Pro-increased tax on the wealthy, pro-reducing our debt by increased tax on the super wealthy. He has this twice. Pro-auditing the Federal Reserve, pro-choice, anti-assault rifles owned by people on the FBI terrorist watch list. I mean, this is just very empty statements. The reason that Hillary didn't win was because all the people said that they were going to vote for Hillary, they didn't. It rained and they went home. They, maybe they caught a transatlantic flight to London for vacation. If you truly believe this, and this is your creed, why are you not voting? Voting is an American right that people have died for. And the one thing I cannot understand and I do not appreciate is when people are super opinionated and they don't take action on their opinion because that tells me you're a liar and you're a hypocrite. So back to the finances. Okay, so we, we raised $80,000. We probably negotiated our medical bills and paid all of that off because part of the $80,000 wasn't straight to medical bills. So the sister said it would be $150,000 in medical bills. It was not. I'm sure that he paid around twenty dollars to 30000 because he bought a mattress, he bought a pair of shoes, and he bought a long-term um, health or fear vehicle plan, right? So there is money left over, right? So not all of it went to medical bills. His definition of medical bills includes a mattress and shoes and a multiple months of uh, help. So the money left over, I mean, a plane, if you make, if you get a donation of $80,000, a plane ticket for two to 3,000 is pennies, pennies. I honestly can't understand how anyone could support this. I fundamentally don't understand how this administration can be supported. Hate Democrats, okay, that's fine, but how can you support this? So it's blind in hate and discrimination. How is anyone okay with this? If you don't like it, vote. Vote. If you think that this is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life, don't jump on a plane, a transatlantic plane, to take a vacation with your Patreon money and or your GoFundMe donations. Vote. Get other people to vote. Like again, this Casey Nissan guy, he or LeBron James. I'm a big fan of LeBron. He went to openly support Hillary. 
in Ohio. Like, obviously, they lost Ohio to Trump, but he did it. And I thought that was pretty, pretty neat of him because Michael Jordan would not do any of that. He would just sell you Hanes underwear, and that would be it. Love, love Jordan as a player, but he definitely didn't believe. He didn't have the convictions of his belief. And in today's society, that is the most damning thing because that tells you who this person is. When you can yap, 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 yap all you want about how pit bulls are amazing and pit bulls are amazing and you don't spend one hour at an animal shelter, you don't foster a pit bull, you don't do anything to, to help. You're just saying the stuff to get likes. And that is a serious problem in our community because... I'll get into the last part. If you guys have stuck with me past the 10 minute mark, I'll give you some really juicy stuff. And this is the auction for the foil mythic rare uncut sheet from Guilds of Ravnica. How many people have that? Like how many of the people who donate can afford to buy that from a charity? How many people who donate to him can afford to just randomly he doesn't have a job, but you know, take off from their job and go to London. Like that is a very small minority, and eventually the you have to pay the piper. I will predict to you what's going to happen. Something bad's going to happen again. We do we know that he has medical insurance? Do we not know he has medical insurance? I don't know if. He's never openly said he actually got medical insurance, yet he's on a transatlantic flight. That, that's crazy to me. Something, I don't wish badness upon people, but when it is medically proven that after you suffer your first injury, you have to be really careful because your second one is way more likely to happen especially if the injury involves your back. Your spine doesn't miraculously heal. The spine is not something that can heal at, what was he, 27, 28? And lastly, why do I make videos about Weds? Uh, I make videos about him because it's very, because as much as he annoys me, there's nothing that annoys me more than the people who follow him. Nothing annoys me more because they are the definition of a lemon they follow and they jump off that cliff and when something bad happens to them they're going to blame mtg lion although they should have been saving their money and maybe buying health insurance so when you have a honor there's no question that he's irresponsible right there's no question that he's irresponsible but when you have someone who's irresponsible as the face of magic, you're encouraging these younger adults, these younger people to also donate to and become irresponsible. If you donate to someone, you really like that person and you believe in who they are. So now we have a whole generation, um, a whole generation of people who are passive aggressive People who say, you know why every single poll said that Hillary would win by double figures? Every single poll, pretty much. I think there was one that didn't, like Fox News. And that was it. But obviously we know Fox News. It's because they assumed the people talking and yapping on Twitter and being you know, all socially conscious, they would actually get out in the rain and vote. They would stay up, they would st stand in that line and vote. I just knocked over some water. <laughs> I'm so like uh, upset by this um, because talking about tweeting about it and making videos on it, social, that doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. All it does is create the perception of change when the reality is it started raining a little bit. Uh oh, it's time to go home. If you want to know why every single poll was incorrect, that's the reason. The line was too long. It started raining a little bit in some places. Uh, it was too late at night. People had to go to work and they, you know, they were tired. People died for the right to vote, not the right to tweet about voting. Anyway, bye.